Hi, my name is George Cow, and in this short video, I want to talk about a quote that I'm sure you've heard, which is, money is the root of all evil. Now, did you know that that is a misquote? Uh, people say that the Bible says money is the root of all evil, but have you ever Googled that phrase, that quote? Well, you will discover that it's coming from the New Testament, the uh, first, the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 10. And the actual f quote says this, the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. So let me translate that for you. The love of money, which is greed, is a root of, meaning causes, all kinds of evil, which is causes problems. So to, in summary, the quote basically says, greed causes problems. And we can all agree on that. Of course, greed causes problems. You can see that in the world, the, there's so much hoarding of material possessions going on that some other people don't have enough. Uh, another quote, uh, one that's from my one of my heroes, Mahatma Gandhi. He said, the world can has enough for everyone's needs, but not for everyone's greed. That's the quote. And the, the, what I've seen out there is that human beings, as long as we are in this human body, you and I are susceptible to greed. And we've got to realize that. When you think somehow that you become so spiritual that, oh, other people can be greedy, but I'm not greedy, um, you are at that moment susceptible to greed for sure. Okay, and greed and fear are related. So I need, let me share with you a, a study that was done by uh, Boston College. Uh, they have a center on wealth and philanthropy. They've been studying rich people for a long time. And they did a study of the super rich people who have at least $25 million in assets. So for most people, you think, wow, $25 million, you're set for life, right? So these are the super rich. Well, they studied their emotions and their thoughts, and this is what they discovered. These super rich people are afraid. They have fear in them. They, they're afraid that they're going to lose their money, and they're, they're afraid that they don't have enough. And that fear was then um, is also connected to a greed because these super rich people... On average, they felt that they needed 25% more money in order to feel financially secure. Let me get this to you again. These super rich people all have 20, at least $25 million in assets. They all felt that they needed 25% more money in order to feel truly financially secure. Why is that? It's because they are human beings, just like you and me. And we need to realize that as human beings, we have this strange ability to adapt at whatever level of income we have, we feel like if we don't correct our mindset, we will feel like we will always need more because we, we compare ourselves to those who have more and think, well, they have more than I should have at least as much as they do, right? A lot of us feel that way. So correct your mindset. If you think you need more in order to be happy, you might want to revisit that and realize that once you have more, if you still have this mindset that I need more to be happy, once you have more, as much as $25 million or more, you're still going to feel like you need more in order to feel secure and happy. So what's the, what's the solution? Let me share with you what I believe the solution is, which is to do the higher work, to do the work of shedding ourselves of fear and greed. And say it another way, is to do the work of becoming less attached to money and also to do the work of needing less stuff to be happier and content with what we already have in other words to appreciate the money that we already do have now if you're watching this you have at least some money to appreciate that the money you already do have now and the things that you already do have to appreciate it more if you can appreciate what you already have now you appreciate it more, you will feel less fearful of not having enough and you won't feel like you always need more, okay? And if we can do this work of needing less and being less and less attached to money, which in my way of doing it is to 
uh, to, to remind ourselves continually that there's a higher power that is taking care of us, that you will always have enough, if you're willing to appreciate what you have, you will always have enough. You will, the, higher, the higher power in your life will ensure that you will always have enough. As long as you are meant to be alive, you will always have enough. So do the work of reminding yourself all the time to appreciate what you have and that you have a higher power always taking care of you. And if you do that work, you will have the true freedom of feeling secure and, the, and more freedom to be more generous because if you're less attached to stuff and, and money, you can have the freedom to be more generous. The last thing I wanna say is that when it comes to thinking about money, dealing with money, there are two words I wanna present you with, which is service and stewardship. Service is looking at your talents and strengths and saying, what does the market want to pay me for in amongst my strengths? In other words, the market is other people, right? What do other people want to buy that I have a strength to provide? Okay, that's service. And the other one is stewardship, meaning once you are making money, how can you steward your money in a way that's wise, that doesn't spend money on get-rich-quick schemes, that doesn't spend money on things you don't need? Stewardship. So that's what we need to work on, is to um, be, be, be uh, understanding that we are taken care of, needing less stuff, um, providing service that the market needs, and then stewarding, having self-restraint to, to spend our money wisely. I hope this is helpful, and as always, I'm open to your comments and your questions. And until the next video, I wish you the true understanding that you will always be taken care of.